Hello and welcome to another episode of Pika 8 Adventures. I am Last of Uwari and this is Seeking the Beast 2, which is described by the author as a Zelda-like RPG, but I think we can call it an action adventure too. It was made by Taxi Comics and released in August 2021, so pretty recently. The story goes that we are trapped in a wally where a beast has gone wild. It created havoc, killing the people of an entire local town, and this beast has to be slain. Absolutely. The link to the game is in this video's description, so feel free to check it out and play on your own. Now it's time to start our adventure and let's do just that. You heard about a beast that killed a whole town. Be careful out there. Okay, sure, that doesn't work, X works. For closing dialogues. That's nice. Can I interact with anything? Uh, no, I don't think so. So there is table and uh, a few chairs or something. And this, initially I thought they were potions, but judging their size relatively uh, to our dearest character and hero, glorious hero, that's probably some pots or vases or something like that. Okay, we are here, yeah, in the top left corner. That's maybe a torch or like a lamp post or something. Can't interact with that and I don't appear to have any weapons. They're just mostly empty building. There's this guy with an icon. Okay, that is interaction. And uh, that's Tom. His name is Tom and he needs a key and uh, he has something for us. So, where do we find the key? A mug, so that's like a bar or a pub or something like that. Kim, where are the guards? <laughs> Good question. What guards? Innkeeper, hi there. Uh, Curry for a drink, enjoy yourself. Okay, so first of all, I uh, like the art style, but I don't like how you're supposed to press one key, in my case, Z. Uh, to interact with character, to talk to character, and then you have to press a different key, in my case X, to close or to progress the dialogue. Uh, that's uh, maybe not uh, the most ideal thing to do, it would be nice to be able or to have to press just one button for the same thing. And this, well, looks like a chest. But it's actually a key, or maybe a key is in the chest that is not locked, but... Okay, fine, sure. Maybe that's exactly the same key that that guy needs. Yep. And now we have a sword. So I can kill stuff. I don't know... The range is too great, right? On that sword attack. Melee attack. Uh, and. I only have uh, three hearts, so yeah, I have to be careful. Where we can go? I can't break these barriers. Can I pass through the tree? Oh, I can break this bush or something like that. It's like a chicken, right? So they're probably not dangerous. Is this guy dangerous? Yep. <laughs> And I already lost two cards while trying to figure out if he's dangerous or not. Well, he was kind of red looking, but you never know, right? Or well, now we do know. Can we talk to somebody else? Somebody really needs to walk the sweets. Okay, sure. So that's another passage. Fine. And if we uh, break this, can I do something to this thing? Not really, no. So let's just uh, progress towards south. And uh, let's see what we have here. So, eh? Alex? It's in the beast. Okay, and where? Could you like expand on that? Not, not really. But uh, try to look up for uh, 
Any other red looking characters? Maybe. Okay, that's locked, right? I can't go there, I can't open it either. What do I have here? Shopkeeper needs coins. Uh, sure, I have like two coins, right? That's the that indicator on the top right. But he needs more coins. Okay, so I suppose kill stuff to earn coins. Or maybe some are in this chest. No, that's a potion. And that instantly uh, replenishes my health, so that's nice. But it also means that I can't pick up potions probably to just use them later. Right? Judging by the layout of this building. Looks like that's a church or something like that. Probably, maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But we are going farther because I don't have coins for that shopkeeper. Oh, yeah, another uh, guy that is red. We already know that red guys are not great in this game. Oh, crap. Well, uh, yeah, I gained a few coins here and there. I wonder if it's okay or, or do I have to get uh, some more? Let's see. No, still not enough. Would be nice if I would uh, have an information how many coins do I have to get exactly, but, you know. Walk around, a few chickens here and there. And I can go south. But can always go south. Uh, hi, I'm just spawn clicking and I still lost a heart. Well, maybe my journey will be shorter than I think, but I have to try to kick us at the very least. Okay, so that's 10. 10 can be theoretically enough, but uh, yeah. And we are back here. Thanks for the coins. Yes, it was 10 coins. Accept this heart. Oh, an extra heart. Not just replenish health, but levels it up to the next uh, high position. Now we have 4 maximum hearts. Which is one better. So, there is at least some progression, which is nice. And what do we have here? Chicken! Oh, yeah, chicken interaction. But no chicken dinner, not this time. I think this kind of game would be very fitting on like a Game Boy or something like that, because with this uh, sort of limited color set uh, and uh, all this aesthetic, I think it would work great there. But that's just my opinion. Huh? I picked up something. Was it coin or what? I haven't noticed. TBH. Oh, that's wizard. I thought it was another creature. But no, my mistake. You want to try again? Here you go. Oh, so you can reset this uh, uh, rock position. Why would I want to reset it so? I suppose if you get stuck on the bridge, right? Okay, now let's explore north and go over there, which is uh, another building or two, so that's still our village or town or something. Coins, another shopkeeper, maybe another heart, maybe better weapon, who knows? I need a red cape and another item from here. Where do I find the cave? Uh, maybe in a dungeon or a cave or something like that, but yep, I think we can stop here. The author themselves said uh, that uh, they've beaten the game in like uh, 10 minutes or so, so it's not very long at least when you know what you're doing, which I'm not quite. But feel free to check it out, I think it's pretty good, uh, no problems when it comes to technical side glitches or anything, and uh, the story is uh, not quite sophisticated, but I think it works fine for this game. Once again, the link to the game is in the description. If you like this video, you know what to do. 
It always helps when you are sharing it on social media. I am Lasta Fumari, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.